look absolutely beautiful. No, it's great. It's amazing. I mean, it's a phenomenon. Well, this whole experience is uh, phenomenal. So, uh, and, and I, got, I got grandkids now. They're into it. Do or do not. There is no try. I gave him a tape. He said, no, thank you. And in post-production for about a year, I heard that he was auditioning voices for Yoda. Captain Solo in the cargo hold. I'm not normally a, a nervous person at all, but uh, and behind the mask, no one can see who it is. But still, I had that nerve about, oh, I'm going to shake, help, oh dear, what, what, what do I say? And I suddenly thought, well, I'm under the helmet. No one will know what I'm saying. I can say what I like. The force is strong with him. The son of Skywalker must not become a Jedi. So I did one. There is a great disturbance in the force. That's the line. I mean, wait a minute. There is a great disturbance in the force. And I said, okay, just a minute. And the third one. There is a great disturbance in the force. You are in command now, Admiral Piet. Thank you, Lord Vader. And I got a call from George Lucas saying, we've had a lot of fan reaction to the character of Piet. Would you like to be in the next movie? So I said, well, yes. And he said, I don't have any script for you. You have to turn up and I'll write you some scenes. So we did. Prepare to target the main generator. Well, I suppose if I could answer that, I'd be a multimillionaire, wouldn't I? Uh, and, uh, but then the people who got the idea, uh, I hope they're coming on to be millionaires because they bloody well deserve it. Mm -hmm.